Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. You could also call it a logarithmic equation or both. But anyways, we've done similar problems before, but I just like this idea, so I keep introducing it in different ways. I hope you enjoy it as well. So we have x to the power of 1 over log x equals x squared minus x plus 9. So this is fairly interesting because First of all, I believe this is a homemade problem because I haven't seen this anywhere. Second, we have a polynomial on the right-hand side, which is actually a parabola. And on the left-hand side, we have something interesting. So let's take a look at this. And I know some, some of you have said, hey, we've seen this before. So I'm going to introduce two methods. For my first method, I'm going to log both sides. And when I say log, I mean base 10, not ln. You could definitely use ln, but I don't think that's going to be very helpful. If you log both sides, you get the following. Log x to the power 1 over log x. This is where it breaks down, sort of, and you get the idea. So when you have, when you log both sides, there's a purpose, right? We want to get rid of the exponents, especially when the exponents are variables. Let's go ahead and move the 1 over log x to the front. And now we get something super duper interesting. They cancel out. Wow. Hopefully that's not a surprise because you've seen this before. That's a constant. Wow, that's interesting, right? 1. So what is that supposed to mean? I did get a simple log equation. I could have given you this, but it wouldn't be that interesting. So now, by using definition of logarithms, I can actually um, say that, hey, this parabola or quadratic is equal to 10 to the first power. Or if you are familiar with logs, you can also do the following. You can replace 1 with log 10. Since the base is 10, log 10 is always going to be 1. Now, since I have two logs that are equal, and log is an increasing function, depending on the base, of course, but with base 10, so it's going to be 1 to 1, and this implies x squared minus x plus 9 is equal to 10. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side, and you are in for a surprise. x squared minus x plus 9 minus 10 is equal to negative 1 equals 0, and yay, the golden ratio. Okay, there are two solutions. One of them is the golden ratio, and it is 1 plus root 5 over 2. You know, that's an interesting number. We could probably do a separate video on golden ratio, but it has a lot of interesting applications in math, and uh, also you see this in nature in many different places. So that's one of the solutions. The other solution is 1 minus root 5 over 2. One thing that I forgot to say, because we have uh, log x, x needs to be positive, and we also don't want log x to be 0. So remember the original problem, it was x to the power 1 over log x equals x squared minus x plus 9. So you don't want log x to be 0, which means you don't want x to be 1, but at the same time you want x to be positive. So x is positive but different from 1. Make sense? Now, from that perspective, if you look at the candidates, the possible solutions, you'll notice that 1 minus root 5 over 2 is less than 0, so we are going to reject it. We're not going to take it. The only solution happens to be the golden ratio. x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2 is the only, only solution. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method. And at the end, we're going to be looking at a graph. All right, so for my second method, pretend you haven't seen the first method and you're totally clueless. We have x to the power 1 over log x equals x squared minus x plus 9. So I'm going to start off again with the expression on the left-hand side. That kind of looks interesting. Why? Because I have x in the base and I have x in the exponent. But in the exponent, it just uh, is combined with log function. And exponentials and logs are kind of inverse functions. You know, like ln x and e to the power x, for example, right? They're inverse functions. So uh, let's see if we can simplify this by using one of my favorite methods, which is substitution. Okay, let's do the following. Let 1 over log x equal y. And don't ask why. 
So from here, I want to evaluate x to the power y. What is it, right? That's what I'm trying to simplify. So I'm trying to simplify the left-hand side. That's my goal. And I'm using substitution for that. Okay. So I set 1 over log x equal to y. My expression turns into x to the power y. So I need to simplify x to the power y. But what's the relationship between x and y? So here's what I'm going to do next. From this equation... I'm going to solve for x in terms of y. First of all, these are reciprocal, so let's go ahead and switch them around and write this as log x equals 1 over y. I know some people are going to cross multiply and then divide. It's just a longer way to do it. Let me just tell you, if 1 over a is equal to b, then 1 over b is equal to a, provided that none of these are 0. Okay, makes sense? Reciprocals can be switched around like that. Okay, so log x equals 1 over y. Uh, how am I going to simplify this? You can use the definition of log. There's a base 10 here. So this means 10 to the power 1 over y is equal to x. By using the definition of logs, I can write it as 10 to the power 1 over y equals x. So this is the base. This is the exponent. And this is the result. That's how logs work. Right? Make sure you understand the definition of logarithms when you start studying logarithms. If you haven't started studying logarithms, it's like... Let's say you're in Bay, um, ninth grade and it's you study them in 10th grade, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can just open up a book or go online and learn about it. And you can also watch some videos that I made on logarithms. Anyways, so I was able to find x in terms of y. What am I going to do with that? Remember, I was trying to simplify x to the power y. And I have x in terms of y. So we can go ahead and combine these two equations. Replace x with 10 to the power 1 over y in the first equation. So x to the power y becomes 10 to the power 1 over y to the power y. Hmm, that's interesting. And this becomes, because y cancels out, this becomes 10. Awesome. So what I was trying to simplify on the left-hand side just turned into a constant number, 10. Now I have my quadratic on the right-hand side. Let's rewrite it and set it equal to 10. And this kind of brings us to the same quadratic equation as before. But let's just pretend we haven't seen this before. Yay, golden ratio. Awesome, beautiful. So the roots are x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. And x equals 1 minus root 5 over 2. But just because of uh, the requirement x is positive, we're going to reject it and go with the golden ratio. Let me go ahead and show you the graph real quick. And now we're going to finish up. This is the graph of y equals x to the power 1 over log x, which is a horizontal line f with x positive. And the second one, the, the purple, the pink one, is a parabola, which intersects the horizontal line at one point because our line is kind of like a half line. And then the intersection point, you can see root 5 plus 1 over 2 comma 10, and so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.